Hello. Hi, everybody. We're going to get started in just a minute. If you can take your seats. Team two, the expellers down here, and um, they're ready to go take team here. All right. No, 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 guys, I'm sorry, down here, down here. <laughs> and you can't bring your coats or hats and go behind Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Foundation for Westwood Education's 24th Annual Spelling Bee. My name is Courtney Krapinski. I'm the president of the Foundation for Westwood Education. I have the pleasure of being the Master of Ceremonies tonight. On behalf of the Foundation, I would like to welcome and congratulate all of the students and their parents for their hard work and commitment in preparing for tonight's Spelling Bee. We really applaud your efforts. Today's Spelling Bee is one of the Foundation's major fundraisers. The Foundation raises money throughout the year. As part of our mission, we return that money to Westwood's teachers and schools and community groups. We help them launch new and innovative programming and further enrich educational and cultural activities. Please look inside your program book for a summary of all the grants we've funded in the last couple of years. It'd be helpful. Today, we'd like to recognize our major supporters from the local business community who have continuously supported our mission to enrich education in Westwood. A big thank you goes out to Roach Brothers Supermarkets, Fidelity Investments, and Needham Savings Bank for many, many years of generous and loyal support. Plus, we would like to send a very special thank you and a shout out to our friends at Dedham Savings Bank for their steadfast support and for funding the prizes for today's winning teams. Each winning team member will receive a cash prize tonight. Also, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the raffle baskets and the silent auction out in the lobby. Please purchase tickets. All the proceeds go towards our grants um, and our ability to continue our mission. Don't forget to take a selfie or two. We have our spelling bee mascot who's hilarious and lots of fun. Um, we will call out the raffle and um, silent auction winners after the final round if you want to stick around. For anybody who watches us up here and decides it looks like so much fun, because we do have a lot of fun, um, we're always looking for board members. So if you're interested in joining our board, we have a sign-up sheet in the lobby, or you can always email us directly from our website. One more thank you out to the Westwood High School staff for their help organizing and working this event, uh, as well as the Westwood Media Center for recording it. You can check out their website in the next week or so um, and see it online. Their web website is westwoodmediacenter.tv. I'd also like to um, help out our Downey, Deerfield, and Thurston Middle School PTOs and remind everybody that there is a screening that they are um, hosting called Screenagers, the next chapter on covering skills for stress resilience. Um, that's taking place Monday, January 6th at 7 p.m. here at the high school. If you have teenagers or rising teenagers, that might be something that interests you. Uh, before we introduce our moderator and our teams, I want to quickly explain how the B works and, and highlight the rules. I'm guessing most of the fifth graders have probably done it before, but we're still going to go over the rules. We will call teams to the stage in order of their team number listed in the program. A group of four or five teams will compete in each round. After all teams have competed once, the winning team from each round will move forward to the final round. The first few rows here in front of me are reserved for what we call the on-deck teams. Those are the teams waiting for the next round and waiting for their turn to go on stage. First, we'll call up the group of competing teams to the stage. When you hear your team number and team name, please enter the stage on the left side and proceed to the table with your team number on it. 
Then we'll call the next on deck teams to sit in these few rows and wait for their round to start. Parents of team members should remain seated in their current seats. Also, please leave all belongings, notebooks, coats, hats, everything with your parents. You're not allowed to bring any materials on the stage. When on the stage, please sit quietly and wait for the moderator to begin. The moderator will pronounce the word, use the word in a sentence, and then say the word again. The moderator will repeat the word one additional time if you request. If you want to hear the word again, you must raise your hand and request the word be repeated. Just say, please repeat the word, okay? The moderator can only repeat the word one time. Team members should work together quietly on the spelling of the word. Each team will have one member that they've designated to print the word legibly on the whiteboard that's provided. I remind you and caution you to print legibly and make sure that any erasings happen properly. One member, oh, I just said that, sorry. You will have 20 seconds to write the word. At the end of 20 seconds, the judges on stage will, stage will instruct you to put your pencils down and your whiteboards up. Any team adding a letter or removing a letter after time has been called will be eliminated. Once a team misspells a word, the team is eliminated. If all teams misspell a word, they are all eliminated, and that will conclude the round. The exception to that is if it's the final round, we will continue until we have a winner. All teams should stay on stage until the end of the round, whether you win or lose. Um, if you get out, you can stay on and silently support your friends that are still on stage. A reminder that the moderator may choose a word that's not on the My Spell It word list. And then one last request is silence in the auditorium and on stage. It really, the sound really travels. So please make sure your cell phones are on vibrate. And try and limit in and out. Um, those doors can be very loud. So there we go. Let's get going. I'd like to welcome our fifth grade moderator, Mrs. Borchers. Ms. Borchers is the assistant superintendent for Westwood Public Schools and has been a moderator for the B for many years. She's a big supporter of ours, and we appreciate her time um, and dedication. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Borchers. All right, when I call your team name and team number, please make your way to the left side of the stage and find the table with your team number on it. Fifth grade, round one. Team one, Deerfield, Madeline, Massa, and Anna. Or is it Misa? Team two, Expellers, Drew, Lucas, Finn, and Ellis. Team three, Wordzards, Hayato, Screamai, Caitlin, and Ryan. My apologies if I annihilate names. Team four, Word Nerds, Belle, Olivia, Mary, and Catherine. Team five, Don't Stop, Be Leaving, Thomas, Shane, Michael, and Jack. And then on deck for the next round, I want team six, Word Nerds, Flynn, Matthew, Jacob, Michael. Team seven, Skull Crushers. Raymond, Liam, Luke. Team eight, Return of the Spelling Beasts. Tim, Andoni, Devin, and Evan. Team nine, Hustling Hornets. Myraj, Diane Moo, Logan, and Reese. All right. Let me make sure this is on. And okay. situated. When you're ready. All right, how are we all feeling? You guys feeling good, you ready? All right. Um, we are going to start off each round this evening with a practice word just to get your jitters out, let you get used to being on stage in front of your parents and all these wonderful fans of yours and, and the guy dressed up as a bee. So for our practice round tonight, the word is 40. Many people decide to have a big party when they turn 40. 40. All right, you can check your own work on this one. It's F-O-R-T-Y, so good news. Everybody made it through that one. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, here we go. Uh, round one, word one is balloon. We tied a balloon to the mailbox to let the guests know that the birthday party was here. Balloon. Time, pens down, boards up. 
B A L L O O N balloon. Word in our second word for the round is commitment. Marriage is a big commitment. Commitment. C-O-M-M-I-T-M-E-N-T. All right, so we've had some words about parties and marriage. I think we'll move to something a little more academic. The next word is algebra. Peter looked forward to the challenge of studying algebra in middle school, algebra. Time and down, boards up. A L G E B R A. Moving on, uh, the next word is synopsis. Synopsis. Marvin read a plot synopsis before reading Shakespeare. Synopsis. S Y N O P S I S. Correct. 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 All right, let's give a very big hand. Stay on the stage, please. Good. Stay put, you guys. You did great. That's a, I, I think, out of, for first round especially, it takes a lot of courage to get up here, and you guys are doing a fabulous job. All right, next up is the word fiend. Kevin always enjoyed a comic book where a superhero destroyed a fiend. Fiend. F I E N D. Correct. 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 I'm going to move to the culinary word, world for the next one. Uh, our next word is cilantro. This recipe calls for crushed cilantro to be sprinkled generously over marinated grilled shrimp served over a bed of rice. Cilantro. It is C I L A N T R O. Correct. 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 I'm going to move to music now. The next word is harpsichord. 
Francis is one of only three musicians who were permitted to play the harpsichord at the museum. Harpsichord. Can you repeat it? Can you repeat it, please? Harpsichord. Harpsichord is H-A-R-P-S-I-C-H-O-R-D. Incorrect. Incorrect. Correct. And we have a winner for this round. Let's give a big well done, round of applause ladies. for oh, every boys. team. Out there. Very good job. So team three is the winner of our first round. So I lost my pen. So kids, if you can make your way off the right side of the stage. Team three was our winner. Harp support. All right. So now I'm going to call up round two teams. And um, there's only three rounds. I was around. So. Um, team six, word nerds, make your way up. Team seven, skull crushers. <laughs> team eight, return of the spelling beasts. Team nine, the hustling hornets. All right, and on deck we have the third round. Team 10, nerds, mine Kai, and I'm not sure if Grace is gonna do it. Team 11, Bunch of Clowns, Brooke, Roman, Chase, and William. Team 12, Artful Spellers, Haley, Sophia, Madison, and Maggie. And Team 13, Super Spellers Reunited, Ella, Kathy, Delaney, and Lily. If you can all make your way down here. Once we're settled, we can begin. All right, you guys all ready? Yes. You look ready? Everybody's got good outfits this year, I appreciate that. Uh, let's do a uh, quick practice word with this group as well. So again, just to kind of get your jitters out. Uh, the first word we'll try out, and this is not for, not for keeps, this one is college. High school students try their best to excel in their studies so that they can go to college. College. Got it, C-O-L-L-E-G-E. -E. And uh, remember, this one's, this one's just for fun. So good job, everybody. Okay. Big breath. And here we go for real. This is your real first word. And the first word is cousin. Padma looked forward to her family reunion every year because she absolutely loved playing with her favorite cousin. Cousin. C-O-U-S-I-N. Correct. 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 Great. <laughs> Next word in this round is vegetable. Asparagus is my favorite vegetable. I did not write that sentence. <laughs> it's not true. Vegetable.
V E G E T A B L E. Correct. 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 All right. All right, next up, the word is harpoon. The fisherman tried to harpoon a whale on several occasions, but failed. Harpoon. H A R P O O N, harpoon. Correct, correct, correct. All right, uh, next word is adobe. The hut made of adobe sagged sideways in the middle of the field. Adobe. Adobe. Time and down, boards up. A D O B E. Correct. 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 Next word is guitar. Dan was looking forward to taking guitar lessons from his grandfather, guitar. G U I T A R. Correct. 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 All right. <laughs> Next word is alchemy. Morgan studied alchemy in hopes of turning lead into gold. Alchemy. A L C H E M Y. Correct. Incorrect. Correct. All right. Getting closer. Nice job. Okay. The next word is toboggan. Bart's new toboggan is the fastest one on the hill. Toboggan. T O B O G G A N. Correct. Incorrect. All right, we, we have, have a winner, one. Team Nine, Hustling mm -hmm. Hornets. Good job to everybody. Nice job, everybody. Okay, make your way down off the side of the stage, folks. second on stage.
Yeah, no, I know. I, 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 yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay, so team, round three. Make your way up to the left. When I call your team name, team 10, the nerds, Mai and Kai. Team 11, bunch of clowns. Team 12, artful spellers. Team 13, super spellers reunited. Wait, in order, guys. You got to go in order that I called you. 10 is nerds, 11, bunch of clowns, 12, artful spellers. 13, super spellers reunited. We had a little number snafu. <laughs> All right, if we can call down the winning teams from uh, the last two rounds, number three, the Words Arts, and number nine, um, the Hustling Hornets, to wait over here for the championship round. And then I think we're ready to go. Excellent. All right, just like with the other groups, we're going to give you guys a practice round to get settled in. So your practice word is truly... Sarah is truly the best friend I've ever had. Truly. All right, you guys can check your own work. That's T-R-U-L-Y. Nice job. Let's uh, forge ahead with the real show. Uh, first word for this round is athlete. The athlete had to train daily to increase his stamina. Athlete. A T H L E T E. Correct, 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 correct. Awesome. <laughs> Next word in this round is business. People in the restaurant business get no breaks on weekends or holidays. Business. Business is B U S I N E S S. Business. Correct. Correct. Incorrect. Correct. <laughs> All right, next word Pueblo. If you travel to an Indian reservation in, in Arizona, you may still see a family living in a Pueblo. 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 P-U-E-B-L-O. Incorrect. All right. Wow. Nicely done. Okay. Team 10. Team 10 is our round three winners, the nerds, Mai and Kai. If you guys could stay on the stage but move down two tables and everybody else well, can give leave. a round of applause. Congratulations. For the rest Good of job, you. everybody. So we have teams three, nine, and ten. So ten can just, that card can move over. All righty. If 
Team three, the Wurzers will come up to their table. And team nine, the Hustling Hornets. And we will have our championship round for the fifth grade B. This is exciting. Uh, just so you know, I've prepared. In the event that you all know every single word in this book, which makes me a little nervous, <laughs> um, I did a little research. And uh, how many people are aware of how many people won the spelling bee, the Scripps National Spelling Bee last year? It was a tie for the like first time in history? 14 or something? It was like eight, eight. octa winners. So uh, I found a few words that the octa winners spelled. So if we have to, we can bust those out. <laughs> All right? So I'm ready for you, whatever you've got. All right, good luck. Bring your A game. Okay. Okay, quiet, please. All right. We're going to skip the practice round. You guys have already demonstrated you know how this works pretty well. And we're going to start right off with the word albatross. It was generally considered an omen of good luck for a ship to be followed by an albatross. Albatross. A-L-B-A-T-R-O-S-S. -S. Correct, correct, correct. All right. I just really like this next word, so I try and pull it out anytime I can. It was spelling B. It is juggernaut. General Sherman's armies moved like a juggernaut through the South during the Civil War. Juggernaut. J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T, juggernaut. Correct, correct, correct. Well yeah. done. We got some spellers. <laughs> that just made me really happy that you all got that right. All right, next word is maestro. The award-winning singer gave tribute to her maestro at the conservatory, maestro. M-A-E-S-T-R-O, maestro. Incorrect. Correct. Correct. All right. Next word, next word is a little spooky. It's uh, poltergeist. Our favorite Halloween story is about a poltergeist who tormented the tenants of a house. Poltergeist. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-E-I-S-T. Correct. Correct. All right. Uh, the next one is hydrology. The big science report would test Amy's knowledge of hydrology. Hydrology. Time, hands down, boards up. 
H-Y-D-R-O-L-O-G-Y. All right, next up is pistachio. Ooh. Patricia placed a pistachio on each parfait. Pistachio. P-I-S-T-A-C-H-I-O. Correct. Correct. All right, I think I'm going to move up to the challenge section. You guys seem to be handling this very handily. So, so here we go. We're going to start off with hippopotamus. The hippopotamus spends most of the day in water because the warm, dry because in the warm, dry air, it loses water through its skin. Hippopotamus. Right, it is H I P P O P O T A M U S. Correct. Correct. Wow. All right. Yeah. Next word guillotine. The guillotine was considered a merciful means of capital punishment when it was invented. Guillotine. Ready? It's G U I L L O T I N E. Correct. Correct. Had quite a few food words tonight. I think it's maybe I missed dinner. Uh, so our next word is kielbasa. Ooh. Sally's mother sent her to the grocery store in search of kielbasa. Kielbasa. Time, boards up. It's K I E L. B A S A. Kielba. Oh, we have a winner. I believe this means. Nine. The, hash, the Hustling Hornets are our fifth grade spellies. You guys, you did a great job, and you should feel really proud for being up here on this final stage. So, congrats to all of the players. If the Hustling Hornets would stay on the stage, and everybody else can make their way down. Um, I'm going to call the um, raffle baskets if anybody's interested in sticking around for those. But otherwise, thank you all for coming and participating. We love the bee, and we hope that you do too. Take care.